hey guys we are back at yaar pada de this time with better quality of the content and this time we are focusing more on the explanation of the concepts and solving numerous examples to make you feel comfortable in that concept so my name is amit and let's start with the first concept pointers okay a pointer is basically a variable uh, that stores the memory address of another variable and it's called a pointer because uh, it points to a particular location in memory by storing the address of that location okay uh, how do we declare a pointer well uh, everybody knows that we can declare any kind of variable like this we first define the data type and then the name of the variable <coughs> and a pointer is similar we just uh, use uh, the asterisk marks in front of the name of the variable to uh, say that uh, to tell the compiler that this is the pointer okay now uh, what well, two things that i want to discuss uh, first is how much space does a int variable take up in a uh, in a memory so int int takes up a uh, Four bytes. Mm, well, the size uh, varies uh, depending upon the architecture of the OS. So, four bytes is uh, probably in thirty-two bit architecture. Care similarly, care uh, takes up one byte. And a pointer, on the other hand. does not depend on the data type by which uh, it is declared so a pointer consistently takes up 4 bytes in the memory for a 32 bit architecture os and it consistently takes up 8 bytes in a 64 bit architecture os got it so you you have to remember this this is very important a pointer stores the address and the space uh, it takes up in the memory does not depend on the data type by which it is declared okay so now we will learn how to assign address to a pointer so let's uh, declare another pointer p1 and an int variable with a value in it and now what i'll do is i'll assign the address of age to the pointer p1 i can do that by just doing like this ampersand in front of the variable name what what this right hand side means is that i'm giving p1 the address of age in the memory what happens there is a variable which is declared in the memory and there is a variable p1 which is a pointer is declared in the memory age contains the value 20 and age has some kind of address in the memory let's suppose for simplicity it is 200 now what we did is we gave p1 the value of uh, the value that is the address of age 200 so p1 will store 200 and of course p1 also has its own address let's suppose that is 300 so so that this is how you declare uh, you assign an address to a pointer let me write it clearly for you so this is how you assign an address to a pointer uh you can also do one thing suppose i declare another pointer and now i can do something really cool is that i can assign the value of p1 to p2 now what happens is there is another variable which is taking up some space in the memory which has some address let's suppose 400 and it is storing the value of p1 
what is the value of p1 200 so now both p2 and p1 are pointing to each now we can do like anything with p1 and p2 that that will take an indirect effect on the value of age the next topic is dereferencing pointer variables and in that we'll see how we can change the change the value and do some variations in the value of the variable with the help of pointers so we can access uh, a variable indirectly using pointer with the help of the indirection operator indirection operator star this is the asterisk uh, operator uh, with which we can uh, with which uh, we can uh, indirectly access the value of the variable so let's uh, let's uh, see this example mm. we we declared a variable a with 80 uh, with value 87 we declared a float b with value 4.5 we declared a pointer p1 which now has the address of a and we declared a float uh, pointer p2 which now has the address of b now i can do a few things with this let's say i do this star p1 equal to 9 do you know what this does this basically changes the value of a since we had the address of a so this is equivalent to doing this star p1 equal to 9 is equivalent to do equivalent to a equal to 9 i can also do something like this so this is equal equivalent to doing a plus plus also i can do uh, various things let's suppose i uh, declare a variable x and then uh, I do something let's suppose I add up a number in star p2 what this does is well this is equivalent to writing this statement and also I can print out the values of the variable by using their addresses so this is equivalent to doing this a comma b okay let me show you uh, what happens in the memory i declared a variable a with some value in it let's suppose it has the address 200 i declared a variable b which has value 4.5 let's suppose it has address 300 then i declared p1 which is a pointer and it has the address of a which is 200 then i declared a variable p2 which has the address of b that is 300 and mind you p1 and p2 has their own addresses okay so okay uh star p1 you can you can read this as the value at the address p1 so star p1 can be read as value at the address p1 remember this and it will simplify your life a little bit so the next topic we'll be doing is pointer to pointer which is a very interesting topic you can you can point uh, you can use a pointer to point to another pointer which is pointing to int sounds confusing don't worry it's fun as we know that a pointer is a variable and it takes up some space in the memory and therefore it also has an address so we can store that address uh, address of a pointer variable to another pointer variable and to declare a pointer to pointer we do it like this we use two stars 
in front of the variable name okay so this means that it is a pointer pointing to another pointer which in turn is pointing to int okay let's see an example uh, to make the concepts a little bit clear <coughs> so we declared a variable a which has the value 5 and let's suppose it has the address 200 then we declared a pointer p1 which has the value 200 which is the address of a and let's suppose it has the address 300 then we declared another variable p2 which is a pointer to a pointer and it has the value 300 which is the address of p1 and it also has an address okay so let's see uh, I'll give you some a kind of an exercise right now so if we place a star uh, before p1 if we place star uh, star before p1 uh, it gives uh, the value of a right gives the value of a and if we do star p2 what will it give come on guess well it gives the value of p1 right now what does star star p2 gives think let me show you a simple way you can write star star p p2 as star star p2 what does star star p2 gives it gives the value of p1 right so you can write it like this right now what does star p1 gives it gives the value of a so this in turn gives the value of a so uh, what it does is it points to p1 and in turn point p1 points to a so you can you can do similar things that we did earlier like star star p2 plus plus which will increment the value of a so if a had the value of 5 it will now be 6 got it now I'll give you an exercise to make sure that you understand pointer to pointer okay pointer to pointer is a little bit uh, difficult to grasp at a first glance so after you do this exercise I'm sure you will be able to uh, you able to solve any kind of problems uh, in pointer to pointer okay the ex so the exercise is uh, uh, let's see the problem first uh, we have declared a variable a uh, with value 5 then we have declared a, vari a pointer p1 which has now the address of a and then we have declared uh, pointer to pointer p2 which has the address of p1 and this is the diagram by which you can understand it a little better now you have to fill in this table the way you have to fill in this table is by uh, what notation you can get mm, get these things so for example address of a can be got by ampersand of a and maybe a value of p1 can be mm, let's say value of p1 how can I get value of p1 mm, by star star only star p2 I can get the value of p1 by star p2 so uh, I'll do one more for you 
the rest you have to fill address of p2 hmm, let's say value of p2 you can get by like this okay uh, not like this by this okay so this is it value of p2 you can get by m percent of p1 because value of p2 is 300 which is the address of p1 and how can you get the address of p1 that is m percent of p1 got it you have to fill the whole table the solution will be in the description box and first you try it on your own and then see the description if you are correct euros and if you're wrong try it again you'll get the hang of it thank you and in the next video in the next couple of videos we'll be doing link list and a lot of cool stuff with pointers so stay tuned guys